friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. So today is an exciting day. It is the Sephora Spring VIB sale. Well, it actually, the day that I'm filming this, it started yesterday. So I'm looking at my little postcard here. So for Rouge, I'll put it on the screen. The sale is from April 26th to May 6th. You get 25, 20% off. For VIB, it's 15% off from May 6th. Sorry, May 2nd to May 6th. And for insiders, it's 10% off from May 2nd to May 6th. So I will leave a link to the sale down below if you wanna check it out. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, Sephora has a rewards program. You can sign up, it's free, you earn points, and then they have sales, I think two times a year where you get money off. Um, I did a full video explaining the new, the new, the new Ulta Rewards Program and Sephora Rewards Program, if you wanna check that out, like if you don't know all the things they offer because they've added a lot of perks. Link to that video down below. So I wanted to share with you friends some tips on how you can save even more money for the sale. So let's jump right into it. Now this is a tip I use quite frequently myself buy discounted gift cards. I've mentioned to I've mentioned this to you guys a while ago. I will leave a link to where I buy my discounted gift cards. So for example, a good place to buy is eBay. Let me explain what I'm talking about. Let's say someone got a Sephora gift card from their grandmother for $100. They don't really go to Sephora. Maybe they don't want it. Maybe they'd rather have the cash. So they will go on eBay and sell that gift card for $80 or $75. So you are saving 25 bucks because it's worth 100 and you're buying it for 75. People do this all the time, but I feel like also a lot of people don't know about this. And another little hack that you can do is sometimes Ebates offers cash back when you buy things on eBay. I'll leave a link to my referral sign up for Ebates. If you don't know what Ebates is, it's basically a website where you get discount codes or you get cash back for shopping at different sites. And I mean, they have everything on eBay. It's like Amazon, Marriott, eBay. So let's say you go to eBay, you buy that $75 gift card. The percentage of cash back that you get from eBay fluctuates. So you might get like 2% cash back, which is great. And they pay you quarterly via your PayPal. So that's kind of like two hacks in one. But you guys, check out the link down below to eBay gift cards. I've done it many times, it's not sketchy. I, what I do is I just look at the seller's rating and if I see that they have like over a 90% rating, because some people are worried that you'll get scammed and you won't get the gift card, but that hurts the seller because if they scam you, that eBay will kick them off the platform. And a lot of these people don't want that. So I've purchased Sephora gift cards, Ulta gift cards, Macy's gift cards, Nordstrom gift cards, and you don't, like you're not gonna, I've never found a gift card that's like a worth $100 and you pay like, 40 bucks, I've never found that. You can't find that on Craigslist though, but I find that to be a little more sketch because you do have to meet the person in like in real life and you don't really know if the gift card's gonna work because nobody's holding them accountable really, like you'd never see them again. Like with eBay, they're holding them accountable. So when you get that gift card, it will work. I've done it many times. I'll leave a link to where I buy my discounted gift cards, but that's another way to save money. So you could get $100 worth of product for 50 bucks or for 75 bucks. And I feel like a lot of people don't know that. And if you go through Ebates, you save even more money. So I will leave a link to all this stuff down below. Next up, I have mentioned this before, um, I think last year, but did you know Sephora's website has a virtual makeup artist? I feel like it is one of the most underused tools on Sephora. So for example, for myself, I shop mostly online with Sephora. Um, and what you can do with the virtual makeup artist is you take a picture of yourself and it has all of the lipsticks that Sephora sell, sells. So let's say you wanna try the new Dior lipstick but you don't feel like going in the store, you wanna just purchase online. What you do, take a picture of yourself, you search for that Dior lipstick and it will apply the lipstick to your face. It is so cool. You, I'm sure you all have seen like those virtual makeup artists that'll put it on like a fake face or a cartoon face, which is nice but it's not as helpful as seeing it on your skin tone, on your features. And you can do this for every single lipstick 
color in Sephora. It's pretty cool. I will leave a link to it down below, but that can save you a ton of money because if you shop online mostly like I do, and then you get a lipstick and you're like, oh, this isn't the right shade, you have to return it. It just saves you time, money. Check it out, it's free, and I feel like a lot of people don't use it and don't know if about it. If you have made it this far in the video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. If you didn't know, if you don't hit the bell next to the subscribe button, then YouTube's not gonna notify you every time I upload a video. So you have to kind of interact with the video for YouTube to say, hey, you wanna see more of Nikki's videos, so we will show it to you. So what do I mean by interact? Like giving a thumbs up, leaving a comment, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. I'm trying to remember to tell you guys this in every video, at least in the middle or towards the end. So thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Another tip for you, did you know that if you buy a product from Sephora, let's say you buy it April 1st and it goes on sale April 10th and you're like, crap, I just spent $100 on that Clarence night cream that I love. I love that night cream. Um, and now it's on sale for 80 bucks. If you go back to Sephora and say, hey, I bought this April 1st, can I get the 20 bucks like difference because it just went on sale and I just bought it? They will give you that money back. I'm so excited, I just spit at you. Spat? I think it's spat. Past tense of spit is spat, I think. Did you guys know that? This is a tool, honestly, that I don't utilize very often because I don't go on their website as much as I probably should because if you didn't know, guys, uh, Sephora actually has stepped their game up and they actually do put a lot of products on sale. They actually have a part of their website that's called, I usually link it in my description box, it's called Sale. And they have some great things on sale there. I'll leave a link to it down below. Where do I always find it? That part of the website I do check. But you should check, like if you do a recent, there is a time limit on this though. I think it's within two weeks or a month. Or is it three months? I don't remember, but there is a time limit. Like if you buy something in January, I don't think if it goes on sale in December, I don't think they'll give you the money back. But let's say it's within the same month, they will give you the money back. So if you stay up on the website or you go there frequently and you notice, hey, I just bought this Clarins Double Serum and it's on sale, can I get your, my money back? They'll give it to you back. It's awesome, friends. I need to get better about doing this. Speaking of the Clarins Double Serum, oh God, I got foundation on it. I love this stuff. They sell it at Sephora. This is a great item to pick up during the sale because it's a little pricey. Um, one ounce is $89. 1.6 ounces is $124. I've been using it for years. I even gave my mom one. This stuff is legit. If you go and look at the reviews, people love it. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. It works for loss of firmness and elasticity, which I'm starting to like lose right here and it sucks. I'm thinking about maybe Botox. Probably not now, but maybe in a couple years. Not Botox, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about fillers. If any of you have had fillers and you're okay with sharing your experience, let us know in the comments down below. I'm just a little scared. Um, and it also helps with dullness and uneven texture. And that's where I've noticed the most benefits because I have a lot of texture right around from the cheek to the jawline because I have a lot of acne scarring and it's really helped with my texture, um, my blackheads. I, there's a reason that this is a cult favorite. I love it. I'll leave a link to it down below and it doesn't have any parabens. So this is a good item to pick up during the sale. I always tell you guys during the sale is when I pick up very high-end expensive items because they're high-end and expensive and I can get 20% off. So. That's usually when I buy my higher end products. If you wanna check out my video where I talk you through my ultimate Sephora sale wish list, check it out right here.